Number one question, the average of five students is 85. So, ito daw yung average ng limang studyante. And the average of the first two students is 88. What is the average of the other three students? So, yun ang ating unknown. And here are our given. So, ang una natin gagawin dito, let us use the first given, which is we have to uh, multiply 85 by 5. Kasi ito yung average nila, ito yung number, total number of students. So, ang sagot nito is 425. Alright? And next na gagawin naman natin is, kunin natin itong ikalawang given, which is, ang average, um, Grades, I mean, or the average of the first two students is 88 multiplied by 2 is equals to 176. Now, ang susunod natin gagawin is we have to find for the difference of these answers, of these products of the given, two given. So, anong difference ng 425 and 176? It is 2. 49. So, i-divide natin sa tatlo. Kasi, yung tatlong studyante, yung average ng tatlong studyante ang ating hinahanap. So, 249 divided by 3 is equals to 83. Therefore, ang sagot ay letter C. Okay, problem number 2, solve for X. And the given are 2 and a half is 2x is equals to 10 is to 4. So, the choices are A, 2, B, 1, C, half, or D, 3. Okay, so, uh, ratio and proportion, meron tayong tinatawag na product of means is equals to product, I mean, product extremes. Okay, so, ano ang solution natin dito? How are we going to find for the x? So, ratio is also represented by 2 and a half divided by x is equals to 10 over 4. And, ang gagawin natin is cross multiplication. And, the answer is 10x is equals to 5 over 2 multiplied by Four. So, copy x, 10x, I mean, so, equals, pag multiply nyo yan, kasi understood over 1 yan, so, 20 divided by 2. Therefore, this is 10x is equals to 10, right? Okay, so, 10x is equals to 10. So, paano natin kukunin yung x? Alisin muna natin yung Numerical value, which is 10, divide natin by 10, cancel, x is equals to 1. So, the answer is letter B. Okay, so number 3 is 12.5% 12, 12 of 30 is what number? Ano daw ang 12.5% um, ng 30? So, we have to multiply this. And first is we have to convert this percentage into decimal. And ang decimal... Um, Nito is 0 0.125 multiplied by 30 and ang sagot is 3.75. Therefore, ang sagot ay B. So, paano ba tayo mag-convert ng percentage into decimal point? So, we just have to divide 12.5 into 100. Ang sagot ay 0 0.125. So, you can use your calculators in um, changing decimal or percentage to decimal point. So, number 4, so 0.12 is what percent of 24? So, percentage naman ang tinatanong dito. Ayan. So, paano ba kumuha ng percentage ng two certain numbers? Simple lang. We have to divide these numbers. Numerator natin yung lower and denominator natin yung higher number. Ito yung kinukuhanan kasi natin ng percentage eh. 
So, ang sagot nito is 0.005 or um, i-multiply nyo to into 100. So, magiging 0.5%. So, therefore, ang sagot ay A. Next, number 5. Last year, 2,000 students enrolled in MET review classes. So, there are 2,000 students and this year, the enrollment increased by 8%. How many students enrolled this year? So, i-add lang natin yung additional 8% from this original number. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? Ano nga bang 8% ng 2,000? So, ang gagawin natin is, i-multiply muna natin ang 2,000 and 0 0.08. Kasi ito yung decimal form ng percentage na ito. So, it is equals to 160. At itong 160 na ito, ito yung i-add natin sa ating original number of students. So, the next year is ang bilang na ng nag-enroll ng mga studyante in MET review classes is equals to 2,100 um, so, therefore, ang sagot ay letter A. Next question, an 80 degree angle is divided into 3 in ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5. What is the measure of the biggest angle? So, ano yung biggest angle natin? It is, okay, 1 is to 2, ay 1 is to 3, and 3 is to 5. So, 5 is our biggest angle. Angel. So, ito yung um, hahanapan natin ng pinakamalaking measurement. Okay? So, ano ang gagawin natin dito? Let us add 1 plus 3 plus 5 is equals to 9. And, since itong 5 ang ating hinahanapan ng uh, measurement, okay, so 5 divided by 9 multiplied by Yung given natin sa una, 180 degrees, is equals to 900 degrees divided by 9. And, pag i-divide natin to, ang sagot ay 100 degrees. Therefore, ang sagot ay letter D. Problem, after receiving a 20% discount, Lawrence paid 180 pesos for an item. What is the regular price of the item? So, ang, ang hinahanapan natin dito is yung original price ng item. So, uh, let us represent X, yung ating regular price. Now, um, 100% less 20%, ito yung given. At ito, constant to is equals to 80%. At yung binayaran ni Lawrence sa item na yon is 180. So, 80% of X, our regular price, is equals to 180 pesos. Ngayon, itong formula, X is equals to 180 pesos. Divided by, ito, 0 0.8, represented by 0 0.8, the decimal form of 80%, and x is equals to 225. Ito yung regular price ng item. So, therefore, ang sagot ay letter C. Number 9, a store allows 25% discount on all items. So, Mayroon daw silang promo na 25% discount. And how much does a buyer pay for an item which is marked 1,200 pesos? Okay, so 25% ito yung discount. And kapag kayong um, presyo daw ng isang presyo, ay, <laughs> I mean, isang item is 1,200 magkano daw yung babayaran ng customer 
So, ang ating 100% na constant, it will never change. Ilas natin yung given. 25%. So, ang matitira ay 75%. Si multiply natin yung uh, 1,200 into 0.75. So, 1,200 multiplied by 0.75 is equals to 900 pesos. Therefore, ang sagot ay letter A. Question number 10. The number of hours spent for review in science, English, and math is in ratio 2 is to 1 is to 5, respectively. How many hours does each student spend for math in a 100 20 hour review package. So, ilan ang ini-spend ng mga math uh, ng mga estudyante sa kanilang math subject? Ilang oras? All right. So, ano ang gagawin natin dito? We have to add the given ratio um 2 plus 1 plus 5 is equals to 8. Okay, so this is Science, English, and Math. Ngayon, ang hinahanapan natin dito ay yung Math. Ito yung Science, ito yung... Ay, sorry. English. Ngayon, um, since gagamitin natin itong 5, we have to divide 5 divided by 8 multiplied by ilan yung given hours? 120. So, ang sagot dito ay 70. 5 hours. So, therefore, I let her A.